Hello, and welcome to Learn from the Experts, sponsored by Women's Business Own Alliance, better known as WBOA. And today we're doing something a little bit different because we have our 25th annual Women's Night of Comedy coming up. And it's a great event. It's April 5th at the Log Cabin. It starts at five o'clock with cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, we have vendors so you can shop around, network, and that's from 5 to 6.30. And then 6.30 to 8 is dinner, a nice plate dinner with dessert and everything. And then, let's see, 8 to 9.30, we are going to be entertained by the ha-has. And it's a great night. And we have a couple of different ticket options. We have $100, which is our VIP, where you get to come early and for a little bit extra cocktail hour and networking and some other extras. And then we also have the general mission is $60. Or you can buy a table for 10 and you can decorate it. And we're going to have prizes for the best decorated table. And there's a lot more. If I've missed anything, you can go on our website, wboa.org, and sign up or read up more about it. And today, I have two people with me. I have Laura from the Ha Ha's, who's going to entertain us. <laughs> and I also have Sarah from Girls, Inc., our charity that some of the proceeds are going to go to. So welcome. Thank How you. are you? Thank you. Well. Excited about the event. Yes, we are too, because we've heard a lot of great things about the Ha Ha's. So since I'm talking to you, how long have the Ha Ha's been together? We, the group formed in 2003, and um, it was formed by Pam Victor, who um, uh, was in an improv class with me at the time, and she uh, actually was in the library at Pelham one day and the librarian said you know we're looking for some entertainment and Pam said well I've got an improv group and the librarian said great let's do a show well Pam did not have an improv group <laughs> at that time it. so she came back to class and she she begged me and and four other women to to create a group for this one show and so we put ourselves together, decided to call ourselves, at that time it was the Ha Ha Sisterhood, and a nod to the Yaya Sisterhood. And we did the show at Pelham and had a great time. We did not know what we were doing. We were brand new, all in a class, learning improv. We had such a good time that we continued, and it's been since 2003. Pam and I are the only founding members left in the group. Um, but we perform every year at first night. We perform once a month at the Happier Valley Comedy Show in Northampton. And uh, we do, we're very happy to do a lot of uh, private gigs and fundraisers, particularly. A lot of library gigs we've raised money for over the years. And so we're really excited about this. This is our first uh, Women's Night of Comedy. And I think it's the first time that they've done uh, a show with improv. Yes. Uh, we are an improv comedy group, which means uh, we're not doing stand-up. Uh, everything that we will do on stage will be made up on the spot. Um, we're going to do a, a set of short form improv, which is what you would see on Whose Line Is It Anyway? There's short games, um, we'll have some audience participation, and we'll do a set of those. And then the second set will be something called long form improv, where it's a little bit more theatrical. What we're going to do is interview three people from the audience. Fun. Ask them a bunch of questions, listen to what they say, and then we'll do a series of scenes inspired by the information they've given us about their lives. And um, we'll see how it goes. It's a real blast, and um, we're really looking forward to the event. Yes. Yeah. I have not had the pleasure of watching you, but I've heard a lot about you, so I am Good. definitely looking forward That's to gonna it. It's going to be fun. We're gonna, it's going to be fun. We're all... Um, local women and uh, Pam is a business owner herself uh, running Happier Valley Comedy and um, we're all women of a certain age shall right. I say which means that our demographic in the audiences we perform to is usually people that are uh, older than the college group so it's a nice change from lo Im improv if you go to Boston or something you see improv it's really geared towards a 20-something set right. and we're 
skewing a tad older. <laughs> so um, it's a it's a fun chance to make people belly laugh. We have people constantly at the end of shows saying, I haven't laughed that much in years. No, it's good. And so and laughter is the best medicine. It certainly there is. A lot I, I, of I always mm. respond and say, well, come back because you should laugh that hard at least once a month because it's really good for you. Yes. So yeah. no, definitely. We're excited. Well, good. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Good. And so every year we do partner with a charity and we've partnered before with Girls Inc. because we love Girls Inc. And we love the WBOA. Yes. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, what your role is in Girls Inc.? Sure. My name is Sarah Edelman and I am the development manager at Girls Inc. of Holyoke. We work with girls who are 5 to 18 years old and our mission is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart and bold and provide them with the skills that they need to become healthy, educated and independent. Um, so we, we have two locations in Holyoke at the moment and we are also um, in a couple of schools in Springfield and Chicopee as well. So we are expanding and continuing to broaden our horizons and reach more and more girls. That's great. And I saw a couple of years ago, I went to a breakfast that you had. Yes. And they had some young girls get up there, and they were young. They were probably 8, 10, 12. Yep. And they got up, and would you say smart, bold? Strong, strong, smart, and bold. Strong, smart, and bold. I love that. And those girls were, they were so confident, and they read or spoke. I don't remember. It's been a couple of years just spoke about their experience and it was so impressive. Now is this a local, um, how is it, or international? How, like what's that like? Girls Inc. is a national organization, a national. actually inter international. There okay. are a couple of affiliates in Canada. Um, there's 82 affiliates across the United States and Canada, so we are one of many, but we consider ourselves <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> yes, well like I said, I've seen the um, outcome of it and it was extremely impressive so that's great so if people come to this really fun night like I said there's a cash bar to get everybody warmed up there's shopping there's networking there's gonna be fun tables people wear boas and crowns <laughs> there's like themes at different it's a lot of fun and we'll be getting healthy from laughing yep and we'll be Helping, helping inspire girls yes. to be healthy. Yep. And that's such a huge theme now. We need it so desperately. Indeed. So I'm really excited about this event. We are too. So I hope that we've given you some information to excite you about this event. And you can go on our website, wboa.org, and you'd be able to look up their websites if you want to read about either one of them or come to the event and meet hundreds of awesome women, probably some men too, so men are more than welcome. And like I said, it's April 5th, 5 o'clock, Log Cabin, be there. Thank you so much.